another comment in this guy's blog was uh, criticism criticism to the to the party of the fact that um, the New Zealand Constitution Party did not report their Waitangi Day launch through cons um, conventional media. Um, now, why why was that not done? Um, it was because we had chosen Waitangi Day as our launch day, and as everybody knows, it's quite a political day. Yeah. And the focus is actually on what's happening in Waitangi. Yeah. And at that time, almost all of the major elected parties of government were at Waitangi Day. And when I approached two newspapers, uh, both of them said that if they had a choice, they would choose to cover the stories of the Waitangi rather than cover uh, the story of the uh, launching of a new political party. It makes sense. Yeah. And so. I did make the attempt to um, notify the general public through conventional media, but because there was a conflict and they ch they had limited uh, space yeah. to report on both, they chose to go with uh, what was happening at Waitangi Day. Yeah, which is we, which is understandable because okay. like you try getting anything else in the media on Waitangi Day about anything that's not related to Waitangi Day, yep. it's impossible. Yep. So what I did was, under the circumstances, I just sent all of the uh, conventional media uh, a brochure uh, of our policies, of our objectives, yep. so that they would be informed and if they had the opportunity to publish, they would. Um, for whatever reason, uh, although uh, Waitangi, uh, Waikato Times uh, were unable to publish, the journalist that I approached actually published it in Stuff. Oh, okay. And we're grateful to uh, that person who made that decision because we could officially inform the general public that yeah. we had launched on Waitangi Day, and I appreciate that. The we didn't know about the fact that it had been published and stuff for a couple of weeks later. Oh, okay. And so the criticisms that came from uh, what was published, we weren't able to respond to. And the blogger in question that's given rise to this discussion, I wasn't aware of the criticisms until a couple of days ago. And so thanks, appreciate this Lance giving us the opportunity. Uh, to respond to those uh, comments. He, he criticised us for being quite dubious in our purpose and I hope that these discussions and the answers to the questions that you're posing that have uh, that have been triggered by the critiques will help resolve those issues. Yeah. Well, that's, that's good because you know, it's always good to respond to what people say. I think because it's that way other people don't get the wrong impression or you know, that yep. sort of thing. Um, I have a cultural background, I have a spiritual background, I have uh, uh, a legal background, I have a political background and uh, I don't in no way see myself as being a bigot. Um, uh, um, it's really important to me that uh, Inspire written constitution meets the, the needs of all New Zealanders, bar none. It's yeah. going to be difficult, but it's not impossible.